Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade and this is How to Apple iOS. And today it is episode two of The Update. 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 And we're going to just go through some things that we may have missed during the week. We'll have a little bit of a chat. And I'll let you go and do your thing. We'll kick it all off right about now. Oh, hello, welcome to the show. I'm Jade. This is How to Open iOS. It is a th- Saturday here in Australia. <laughs> Friday for the rest of you. Happy Friday to you all. End of the week. I hope you have a uh, nice weekend ahead. Work never seems to end around here. How was that interview yesterday with Viv Sparrow, yeah? What a fantastic interview. It is. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure to uh, be a part of that. I was so inspired. You know what? Um, it's interesting, you know, with the interviews. Um, just as much as I try to have people on and, and make them shine, uh, I get a lot from those interviews. And yesterday I, I needed that interview. I needed to have that chat with Viv uh, just – like it was just like two friends hanging out and just talking and I felt really cool being able to, I don't know, unload. Um, so I felt really healthy after that. So, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that yesterday. It was fantastic. I hope you're all doing good. And um, we'll welcome our ward warriors. You can become a ward warrior, blah, 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 blah. Do all that stuff by hitting the, <laughs> the join button. Let's say hello to you all. Um <laughs> Yes. Um, would you like a cup of tea, anyone? I'll just uh, head downstairs to the milk dispensary. Anyway, uh, hello, Audible and uh, Thomas Christ. What's going on? Thanks for posting the the uh, linky poo. Rides of Dark Leela, Kim Harden Hudson. Really good to see you, uh, Greg O'Sullivan. He's my special guest next week. Yeah, who's excited for that? I am. Cool. I will send you all the deets this weekend, Greg, so uh, you'll get a little email like everybody gets asking for a photo and uh, or a couple of photos and some links so I can set up the show for this week and we will talk turkey. Hey, Fat Panda Cat, what's going on? Um, you can tell it's I'm a little bit floaty today. I'm not so hypo. Uh, but uh, we're all good. Uh, Brad's probably trying to watch. Brad, if you're out there, hello uh, to you. If your computer's actually working. Today's featured artist, continuing on Ladies Week, is Ashley HM. We'll play her latest, a drag. Uh, good stuff. Boom. All right. So uh, what else do I need to cover? I'm going to go on a rant, aren't I? I'm going to go on a mini rant. Exactly, kid. Woohoo! A mini rant. All right. If you're watching this and you've ever had a problem with an app, because this is the app date, yeah, where we're going to go through and search for some apps, go through my um, my app store and see what's been updated and stuff like that. If you've ever had a problem with an app that's not loading, yeah, it's it's, it's got a little problem and uh, there's an issue or it's crashing, here's what you don't do, okay? Here's what you don't do. I'll give those first. What you don't do is you don't go to Facebook and you don't go to one of your Facebook groups and you don't cry a fucking river there, right? You don't, don't, just don't do it. You don't go to Twitter, you don't cry a river there, and then you don't go to the audio bus forums and create a post and cry over there. Because guess what? The developer's not going to see it. Yeah, the developer has no idea that you are over there shit canning. All the all the hard work that goes into these apps, and uh, blah 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 blah, they're not going to see it. And you know what else is not going to happen because they can't see it. Nothing's going to get fixed. All right, very frustrating for developers to know that somebody's got a problem with something and they're just going to places where things can't get fixed. All right. So here's what you do: do 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 do. 
going well so far. Uh, hi, Hugh. Leany, what's going on? Leany and uh, DOA. Yes, you heard develop, developer. Um, but it's, it's, not, well, it's not your kind of developments. Yours are brutal. So here's what you here's what you do do if you've got a problem with an app. Load up the app store. Search for the app. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy. It, it, this is almost. I'm thinking way outside the box here. I'm I'm talking I'm talking insanity right here. I know. Lock me up, put me in a padded cell right now. <laughs> hey, Dean, how's it going? So, call me crazy. Go and find the app, right, that's got the problem that you've purchased, your hard-earned hard -earned money, and scroll until you see this. Development, develop a website. Nearly every, ne nearly, almost, I'd say 95% of apps have this link. And look at this. Here's the developer's website. Pretty cool, huh? If I scroll around a little bit, will I find anything on here? Any links on here? Well, is this one a good... Look at that. Main menu. Support-mobile at versin.d. What happens when I click that? Well, it... I don't know if it takes me to the uh, email address. Oh, look at that. It takes me to a form. <laughs> look at that. And it lets me pick what's going on. And I can send send a form off, even if it doesn't have my thing. It may be for, uh, you know, something else. Just send an email and put fucking in the description here. Just say what it is. Some places will have an email. Some will have a Twitter if they don't have an email. And send them an email and go ahead and, and help. Help the developer know. You know why? Because if the developer knows, then a lot of iOS developers are absolutely are really, really quick to jump on it. You know why? Because they don't want problems on their apps. They don't want people buying their apps and finding a problem. They, it's the last thing they want. So if you help them, it, it helps you get it sorted. And it, in, in like 90% of the times, the developers will be on it and they will try and fix it and have it at, out in the next release. And a lot of developers already have like a, something on the cards ready to come out so that it's something they can work on. What you don't do also is go to the app store, go find this app here and go, I'm going to write a review. Don't do this. Don't go and write a review. And write, I hate this. This sucks. It's not working. Like, look at this idiot here. Look at Riverwind 1. This is a great for layering samples and pads and soundscapes. Unfortunately, it randomly crashes during sessions. Please fix. Please fix your brain, Riverwind 1. You're an idiot. I'm telling you, dude. I don't know what kind of stupid pills you took, but this stays here forever. The developers can't remove this. So when somebody comes to see this, right, it doesn't work. Uh, they see this and go, well, why would I buy this? All these people have left all these horrible comments. And you see this is from on 19th of August. And the reason I'm showing you this, right, the reason I'm showing you 19th of August on this particular app, I was supposed to do a show on this app last week. And before the show, I opened it up and there's a problem with it. That's probably what um, Riverwind 1 was talking about with this crashing randomly. I don't think it's that. But like, so there, there was a problem I found with it. So you know what I did? I, I pretty much did this. I, I closed it. I opened the app. Let's go over here. Layer. Audio layer. There it is. I opened the app. And then I swipe down the bottom corner of my iPad, I'll show you, like this. If I can hit record. So now the screen's recording. And now I could go in here and, and recreate the issue. Blah, 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 blah. Stop, stop recording. And there's a video that has saved into my Photos app. 
All right, so if I go to my Photos app now, there's that video I just shot. And I just included that into my uh, email. And this is exactly how it went down, folks. So I sent that email with the problem with this app and said, hey, uh, Harry, I can't review this app in the morning. There's a problem with it. Here's a video on what's going wrong. Here's an explanation of what's going on. Can you look at it for me? He got back to me and said, uh, I'm, not, I'm having trouble recreating it. Can you send me the audio file that you're trying to open? I sent him the file. He wrote back to me within five minutes and said, I've recreated it. Let me work on that and get it sorted. Within 12 hours, he said, we've got it fixed. I'll be updating it in a couple of days' time. I know, right? Because I see it all the time. I see people over on Facebook just like fucking, it's like, it's like yelling into the wind. You're going, uh, this thing doesn't work. Hello? Why isn't anybody helping me? It's like, because you're in the wrong place. Contact the people who make it. It's very frustrating to see that people, uh, I don't know, did COVID rot people's brains or something? That people can't think that far ahead? Like, you know, do you, <laughs> and I'm not targeting people specifically, you know, but I don't know. <laughs> it's so odd. Do, do you, are there people out there who go and buy a product? Like they go and buy like Rice Krispies and then they get home and they find a condom inside the box. So they call it Kleenex Toilet Tissue Company. It has nothing to do with that and say, can you fix my Rice Krispies? There's a condom in there. It's so weird. It's so weird that people's brains are so smooth that they uh, go and do stuff like that. It's it's odd. I, I really, really, and you know why I'm I'm saying this? I'm not saying this to be an asshole. I'm saying this because I, I want you to, I want people to understand that you can get these things fixed in a relatively timely manner if you just like slow down, stop, open up the app, find the developer's website, shoot a simple email, just shoot a quick video and it'll get resolved. They love it. If you go back and watch the interviews I've done with developers, every one of them who's been on this show has gone, please, please, please email me. Tell me that there's a problem. Please don't go to the app store and leave a bad review. It's silly, you know. <laughs> Be, work smarter, my friends, because you'll just you'll, you'll get to where you want to go uh, quicker. Crashing the party here. Here's my friend. Viv Sparrow, who I had a blast with yesterday, and um, she, you know, the other thing I haven't told you guys, uh, at the end of the show, normally who, guests come on, we normally hang out and have a little bit of a chat, and yesterday I got to play Viv, one of my favourite artists who she'd never heard, and um, after hearing it, I was in tears, crying, so, and then later on I went and ma I did a recording of that song, and... Uh, it's such a good day. It's, I had such a good day yesterday. I recorded a song just off the bat and uh, I can't play it because it's a cover, so I'll get a copy, content ID. But, yeah, what, what an amazing, amazing day. Uh, very good rant, says Weaver Brain. Hello to you, my friend. Um, explaining the reality of app dev support. Yeah. Uh, I, I hope people see it. And you know what, what I do hope to? If, if you see this, Pass it on. If you're if you're in a Facebook group and you see somebody writing down, hey, blah, 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 help them out. Tell them. Just help them out. Say, I don't know if you know this, but on, on the App Store, every app has a little link to the developer. Help them get to the place they need to go. Add some roughage to their brain. <laughs> and some of these developers are one-man ops. It's not like the team of people sitting at their desk. Yeah. Yeah, they're not trolling all the – they don't have time to troll, like, all these shows and and um, every Facebook group or audio bus forums to find this stuff. We, they rely on you to let them know, you know. you you got you to tell people when something's not working. It's, it's just simple. Let me have a drink. It's really hot here in Australia today. Uh, summer's starting to kick in. Damn, sorry, I should have muted then. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, some of the big, I agree with that, Greg, some of the biggest companies, uh, the support isn't so great. But 
I find if you leave a ticket and then just leave on the same ticket three more times <laughs> demanding help, they'll, they'll get to you quicker. Hey, Matthias. All right, there's a couple. Let's jump in and talk about some updates and some things I probably won't get to cover on the show, but I, I think are worth a mention. A few weeks ago, I covered, I did a story on this sucker. I did a review on this little sucker here, the uh, iRig HDX, this little baby, this little guitar rig. Yeah, pretty cool and fancy. So this thing dropped and um, I came multimedia, sent me one of these, and I think it's wicked. Really uh, cool. Uh, so there's that. Well, they secretly snuck something else out the other day as well, too. And look at this. It is the iRig USB. And look at that. It looks virtually the same. Is that the same thing? What? To have my eyes deceive me? What is going on? Let's have a look. So the best seller goes digital. The iRig USB gives guitar and bass players an affordable, an affordable uh, and easy way to practice, play and record at home or on the go. This digital version of IK's widely popular iRig 2 features sleek new enclosure with USB-C connectivity. So the same thing as this one here. Uh, comes bundled with the latest amp and effects, same as this one. Easy to record ideas or jam along with uh, to your favorite backing tracks, killer tones. Awesome. So what's the difference? Whether it's through headphones, loudspeakers, or uh, iRig USB, because this is called HDX, this one. USB makes it uh, fun again to play. Okay, what's it missing? It looks like it's missing a tuner. So it doesn't have a tuner compared to this one. This one has a little built-in tuner. And it looks like it doesn't have um, uh, the the uh, routing, the uh, what's it called, the third third channel routing, which uh, is definitely not needed, you know. Um, so it's just a plug and play straight in, straight out, fits in your pocket. Yep. No tuning. Sorry. Tuner. Where's the tuner? Um, yeah. So it's just missing a few features. I wonder what the price difference is. Shall we find out how much it is compared to the other one? Um, 69 quid, 69, uh, euros. So there we go. Affordable. That looks like it's about half price compared to the other one. Let's have a look. What's the other one? Guitar. Um, so there's, yeah, so they're virtually identical. It's, all right, so they don't have these little things up the top here, right? So you've pretty much got a line in, a line out, so you're still going out to a cab, you've still got the headphone jack up the top, and you've still got a USB-C up the top as well. So you basically don't have the ability to... Um, flick between tones and a tuner that's that's pretty much it so what's the difference in price wow half price so there you go if you were thinking about one of these and you don't particularly need the tuner there you go that's a that's a really good idea when i first saw it i was a bit like hang on <laughs> what's what's the point but uh that makes sense for just on the go most of the time, if you're plugging it into an iPad or iPhone anyway, you're going to be running a tuner in your in your effects chain. So, yeah, no-brainer. Good deal. Boom. Right on. Boom to the boom. So, yeah, half price. So there's that. And that just slipped through. Uh, IK slipped that out. They did offer me one. I was like, uh, I don't think I need one of those, do I? Awesome. There you go. There's a little update on that. So I'm definitely not doing a show on that. Let's take a look at some updates because I know there's some cool things that have dropped. And to do this, we're going to head over to my app store. And to check your updates, you just click on your little photo. You pull down with your finger and let go and it will refresh and let you know what's there to update. BandLab's got an update. Let's do that. Absolutely spot on, Thomas. Great for guitarists on the go. So it looks like YouTube's had an update. You think they've fixed anything? I don't think so. And also it looks like the Mogafogas have had updates. They've got new icons. So here we can see uh, the MF 
uh, 107S frequency box has had an update. What are the fixes for this? Fix for sessions, sometimes not restoring CV connections. Updated app icons with model name for better identification inside some hosts. That's good. I like that one. That's a really good um, update. Have all of them been updated? Yes. Here we go. MF109, 108. So it looks like they've all had the same update. It's nice. So we're getting continued updates for all the Mogafogas. Sexy times. Um, it looks like Entrex Studios had a, Jesus, another massive update. So back in the day, I did a, a sequence of events on the Entrex Studio. There's an overall tutorial of this app. And then I went and made a song with it. Unfortunately, that song was for the Kindercore song that got me a community guideline strike. So I had to remove the entire series of tutorial for this uh, app. I, I It sucks. I'm so sorry, but I had to protect my channel because well, if you've been around here, you know what happened. But uh, it looks like it's had an update. Create your own instruments by dragging and dropping or even recording sounds straight into the step sequence of piano roll, drums, screen, keyboard, save and recall chain effects, new song browser, add celestial magic to your tracks with a new shimmer effect. So a whole bunch of nice stuff in there. Uh, hello, JDL. Good to see you. And Semtex, hey. Uh, it's, it's version 10, free if you got before a certain time. Is that is that this? Is that what? Studio track. So what else is in here? Um, outside of fire, still haven't done a show on. I know, I know, I know. When you get a strike, can you remove what you did? Or were they? Oh, so uh, the community guideline strike um, I got, they last three months. But I got one and then I got another one. And three is the end of your channel. But after three months, they go. So I'm clear. It was like 8th of September. I'm, I've been free. I'm now, I've got a clean slate, everybody. So, so now it's time to upload Kindercore. <laughs> All right, here's one that's interesting here. Um, this is an app I reviewed ages ago called Voice Synth. And um, this is a neat little app, this one. It's uh, completely rebuilt. Recoded, universal now for iOS and Mac OS. Simplified audio MIDI routing, improved layout and manual physical keyboard. And also, shall we have a look at this? Shall we have a little bit of a gander at this one? What's in here? I really enjoyed this app. Ooh. <laughs> I forgot it does that. Wicked. Um, <laughs> I think I need a mic plugged in, don't I? Should I load it as an AUV3? I should. Do I have a mic over here to test it out? Mm, let's grab a mic. Boom. Yes, if you love Cylons, this this is your app. Um, let's plug in a mic. <sighs> totally unscripted these shows here on the Friday. Um... Let's see, I'll open it as an AUV3. Then we can connect it a little bit uh, easier. Let's just, look at all this stuff here. Got to open, let's close some of this garbage. Boom, boom, boom. That'll do, I think I'm good. Uh, we'll open up AUM. And AUM will plug in a mic. Uh, Beauty Fuse 2, what was it called? Voice Synth, I think. There it is, Voice Synth. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello, baby.
It looks neater. It looks more uh, polished. looks a lot easier to use, a bit more free-flowing. Um, there's so much you can do with this. If you want to go back and watch my show on it, I did a really deep dive onto this ages ago. You should still get a good idea how to use something like this if you go and watch that show. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's actually a really, really cool app. can be used as an uh, AEV3, as you can see. And it looks like it's good to see that the developer is still working on it. Let's move that mic out of the way. And someone else. Hello, SGX. What is happening? Have I missed anyone? They mute, mute yeah. It is hot, and it's only eight thirty a.m. and it's really hot. Wood synth has been updated. Geo shit. Now this is interesting. Who GeoShred has been updated. Let's see what this has got. New strumming feature. A new strumming feature for GeoShred. Um, new strumming feature which supports standard and custom guitar chords, finger picking, and assignment controllers. Also supports horizontal and vertical orientations, one shot chord playing chord. Hoppo and uh, velocity sensitivity based on strumming speed. Ooh. Shall we see what's going on in here? Oh, I'm interested. Strumming in, in uh, GeoShred. If you don't know what GeoShred is, I've done many shows on this. So this is made by uh, the incredible Jordan Rudess, and it comes with a whole lot of amazing sounds in it. So you have lots of guitar tones, and it's, and it's all touched based. But I wonder where we find this strumming thing. I have no idea. I don't even know what to look for. Um, let's let's see if we can. Ooh, eat, eat. Let's go into our sounds. So there's a whole heap of in-app purchases and stuff, like uh, cellos and stuff. (laughs) 
Lots of really cool instruments. We've got some trumpets in here. But where are we going to find this strumming thing? Uh, strumming! Look at that! It's got its own section. Ooh! <gasps> Look at that! That was easy to find. Fancy. Oh, you've got chords over to the side. So if I go <laughs> Wicked, interesting stuff. We've got different types of strumming. Geo trumpet drums. Oh wow, so if you move your fingers, you get vibrato. Nice. Hello, Velcro. You got like Indian instruments. What else do we have? Cello strums. I got trombone strums, basic strumming, palm muting strums. Um, what else do we have? So we got flutes. Maybe we'll look at the, the, this in a little bit more detail this week. But, uh, yeah, notice this just dropped. So very interesting feature. I, mean, I guess it's another new way to learn to um, play. <laughs> Boom. Hi, Dan. Hope you're doing well. Let's, uh, oh, let's see what else we've got. So there's, what else is in there? So uh, Nata Collection 3, is there a new in that purchase? No. Let's have a look at that. Because I'm definitely going to have to do a show if there's a full new in that purchase. Um, oh, here we go. Store. Um, I think, yes, there is. So it looks like it's the Nata 3. $119 Australian. <laughs> they're expensive, but uh, they're good sounds. They are really good sounds. But, uh, yeah, what do you get for them? What's in here? Oh, zoom out. Zoom out. Um, so these are, the, ooh, these are the new instruments that are in the in-app purchases too, it looks like. God, I wish I could play it like this, dude. Go wrong with that with a pepper. A 
Okay, cool, cool bizzo. So we've got a new in-app purchase as well. That's nifty. We'll definitely be doing a show on this because I'm sure they'll flick me a code. Hopefully, you're listening out there. Jordan, can I please have a code? <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, let's head back over here. What do we got? Uh, 22 minutes. And then I'll let you all go for today. So thanks for hanging out. I saw there's 25 of you. Wow. Thanks for hanging out. That's very kind of you. Um, purchased, where are we? We were down here somewhere. Boom, 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 boom. Geo Shred. What else is in here? So we've got the new NADA Collection 3. Control servers can now be uh, placed on the bottom. Improvements and temperaments, mostly around the accurate pitch bend process, bug fixes, updates to MIDI processing and support for strumming and improved temperament handling. Barry Glenn has a birthday today or tomorrow. Ba uh, if Barry's here, happy birthday, Barry. It's Barry Glenn's birthday tomorrow, everybody. Facebook's just told me that. Um, Clubhouse has had an update. Cord AI has had an update. And yes, this is to fix a crash issue when editing the time signature. Hi, Wayne. Uh, Affinity Photo 2, Affinity Publisher 2, and Affinity Designer have had an update for bug fixes and stability improvements. So that means they're not telling you what it's had updates for. Um, Thump 1 has had updates for the improved animation of undo and redo buttons. So if that was troubling you, guess what? It's been fixed. Multitrack Studio. Now, let's talk a little bit about this app. I've had this app for a little while, and unfortunately, I was planning on doing a show on it. And guess what happened on the week that I was uh, getting ready to do a show on this? Apple announced <laughs> Logic Pro. <laughs> And I thought, you dogs. <laughs> but we're going to take a look at this because it is very unique. It's this uh, multi-track studio for iPad. It's been out for ages. And the developer is super um, into keeping it updated. He's constantly updating it. It works across Mac and PC and your iPad. So we'll take a look at it because I think it's, it's worth a look. And it's a one-off price. So there's no, like, once you buy it, you own it kind of thing. No subscription, so it's always good to have an alternative for that. Uh, Vithum Jr. has had an update as well. It looks like here. Signals mode bug fix to make type changes visually mi uh, uh, visually visible. Visually vis visible. Get it right. New model signatures and fluid subscription only. So there's a whole bunch of new subscription uh, models on Vithum. I'm definitely looking at doing another show to update on Vithum. I've done a few of them. If you want to go and have a look at Vithum, go and search Jade Star, uh, Vithum Junior, and you'll find the shows I've done on it. It's a really cool app for making music videos. You want to spice up your music videos? Yes, indeed. Background Eraser. Now, let me tell you, folks, I love this app. I use this app every single day. Th this one here, this cheap I'm sure it's only a few dollars, but I use this every single day, and I'll tell you why I use it. This is why I use it. It's okay to, like, have apps like photo apps where you can remove backgrounds, but nothing is as easier as this. Background eraser. Grab any photo you want. Let's just grab one quickly. This photo of, of, of uh, Brad. And we'll... <laughs> maybe this photo of Brad when he was homeless... And hit the remove background button. And that one didn't really work because of the hair. But, you know, you're going to get things like that. So it was a bad example. But anything else, any picture, remove background. Look how quick it is. It's super fast. I can take this photo of Chad here, remove background. And it's just, it saves so much freaking time to remove a background. Remove background. Done. Boom. Remove the background of this clown. Remove background. Doof. It's just, you know what I mean? I mean, there's plenty of other photo apps that uh, really work with this. Any of these uh, images I've been using for my video clip, bang, remove background. Gonski. That's, this is how I make all my emojis for the chat if you're a Wart Warrior. So really simple. Let's take this skeleton, remove the background. Let's see how this works. 
doof. Look at that. Great job. It does a really fucking good job. So that's had an update, some stability and improvements. We like that, that they're looking after that app because it's a gun. I use it every day. Can't live without it. One of those uh, apps that just makes life easy. What else? GoDaddy Studios had an update. Um, I still use GoDaddy. You've probably seen that recently. Uh, what else have we got here that um, you, might interest you guys? Oh, yeah, Dawn Beat. So we looked at this a while ago. This is a standalone sequencer. It's got audio bus support, uh, render sequence, render offline for current selected sequences. Use the mixer, mute solo for streams, MIDI controls, FX sliders on and off. So I, I do believe this thing has had a whole lot of updates. Let's have a look at its history. We see version history. So the last one was four months ago. Um... Looks like, and there's there was a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, six months, like chain compression, background audio, AUV3 effects, rearranging those. Um, there you go. Yes, just do it. Just do it. FPC, send it to me, my email, and I'll and I'll bang it through. You'll notice in the chat all the emojis are still all ladies of the community because it's Ladies Week. I just closed that, didn't I? Let's uh, see if there's anything else here before we move on. Uh, la, 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 Dawnbeat. I don't know if many people use this still. I still use this occasionally if I need to use a browser that uh, <laughs> Safari won't let me open. I still use this, which is very handy. Uh, I can a mobile. It's a web browser for your iPad. Kind of gets around the mobile things. I think we've covered everything. All these things were from last week. So that's that. Let's jump over to the beat community because they've got lots of updates. Now I need to let you know this. I covered, I think I did a show on this. Did I? Or not? I don't know. Let me check. Um, I don't even know what shows I've done these days. I do sin. Is that how you spell it? Maybe I didn't do a show. Let's have a look. I did spell it right. But this is absolutely free at the moment. This is, do I own this? I think I do own it. We'll check if I own it. Um, this is an app that was usually only a dollar. Pretty sure I own it. Yes, I do own it. I don't think I ever got around to doing it. But, uh, so it's a synth, yeah. And it's absolutely free. So I recommend you go and grab it while it's free. Save yourself a dollar. Let's see. We'll open it up and see what it does. Does it make any cool sounds? I was sure I did a show on this. But, you know, some sometimes apps slip through the net. And that's why we have this show now. So we can catch up on things. So we've got some piano sounds there. Ooh. So these are chords. We've got drums, kicks, and there's a piano in there for some reason. Guitar. Why is that not showing on my screen? Try opening that again. Wow, it's <laughs> that is so weird. I thought it was showing on my screen. I don't know why that is. That's a is that a bug? <laughs> I just had that open as a standalone. And look, it's still not showing. How weird. So guess what? I can't do a show on this because. How weird. Oh, because it's Interrap Audio. Wow, that is that is really strange. So as I, you see what happens when I try to open it up here, the screen goes black and all I get is this thing. So what I'm going to have to do, guys, is file a bug report. <laughs> there you go. 
I will do that after the show. And how do you do that? Do you remember? So I think it's, is it only um, interrap audio? All right, so it's only interrap audio. But it is free. And how will I do that? Well, here's the thing. Guess what? There's no, there's no link. I don't see a link. So here's the next thing. What do you do in this situation? I hear you ask. Report a problem. That just goes to Apple. So that's not going to work for us. All right. That's not going to work for us. So we're going to do a search for... Uh, there's a Facebook page, it looks like. That's the next best step. So you ha sometimes you have to do... Oh, man, really? Why would that not open in the app? Uh, it's going to... Oh, man, it's going to ask me for a... Uh, Oh, man, Safari, dude, <laughs> really? Uh, I do some, let's see if I can find it in the app. Okay, so maybe uh, pages. There we go. Follow. Here we go. So here's their page. I do send a pronto mail. Boom, here we go. So now... I can send an email. Voila! See, so it's not too hard to find a developer's uh, email address if uh, you can't find it on the App Store. So all I did was do a search on Google. Sometimes you'll find their website that way. Sometimes you'll find a Facebook page or a Twitter, and then you can contact them that way. If that's the only way they've got to contact them, then do it that way. But yeah, there's a little bug there, so that is a thing. And it seems to be only when, because remember, I've got my iPad plugged in and in share, screen sharing. So that's probably a bug to do with screen sharing. It's not, that wouldn't affect you because I can still see it on my screen. But obviously, there's the bugs in the method of screen sharing. And that's what I will write to the developer today when I send an email off to him. Baby Audio acquires Denise Audio. So here's some information. So let's have a look at this. This is news, I guess. Uh, Denise Audio will remain separate from Baby Audio and have no plans to externally unite the two brands. However, operating a second plug-in company will give our team more options internally since an addition, additional product outlet means we can hire more developers. So good news, possibly more apps for iOS. I want to show you something. We're, we're going to go out here with something I want to show you a little bit of. There's an app that I would like to get your opinion on if you would like to see me do a tutorial on this app, even though it is not iOS specific. Let me show you some things. Give me a second. Now, um, I don't know if many of you have seen this. Uh, so currently it's only for Mac and Windows, but I think if I do a show on it, for Mac, uh, f uh, just on the Mac version, the Windows version, maybe it'll get some interest in the developer to try and c can, uh, port it over for iOS because I think we need this on iOS and I would hope that this is coming to a iOS. Sample. So this is a Every brand new app a called Simplant 2. Just to this note. Okay. And then this note, you may have seen it around so YouTube. For every single key on the keyboard at Let me just sounds, show like you this. Anything is huge. So this is these crazy weird sounds. This is a new dimension of synthesis. Basically, this is an AI synthesizer that uh, runs on by planting seeds. This is the concept behind it. So you plant a seed. And then the you pull out the branches here of the seed and it takes the sound into different dimensions, okay? Um, and what this can do that no other app can do is that you can import 
any sound you like, your voice or anything, and it will recreate it using AI. It's very astounding. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Um, it's definitely worth a I'll look. I'll be honest. I do not understand the base. Let me go Talk over charge. here. This is incredible, very complex sounds like that. Anything you hear in EDM and any kind of electronic music, you're hearing synthesizers. So that brings me back to Synplant 2, the plugin from Sonic Charge. This is a synth that's been around for a while. It has this really funky, kind of weird, like plant-based <laughs> structure, and it makes some wild sounds. And it can make these crazy weird sounds. I'll be honest, I do not understand the basic form of this interface, like the way it, it works on its own. You can modulate these sounds in really interesting ways. You get all kinds of crazy effects. And underneath all those sounds are these huge, huge number of settings in this, this DNA interface, which, man, this is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really begun to dig deep into what we're looking at here. But we do have it looks really cool. Hello, scars and shadows. The oscillators here. Uh, I just wanted to say hello. Check out later. I wanted to say I loved your song. Sang on hippies. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think we're all loving your music too. can make what's incredible. It's a feature they added this. Let me pause it. It blows me away, honestly. Scars and shadows. You have all these songs, and only just now we're all finding you. You are so talented. So let me show you where this shines. This is amazing. So check this out. I'm just going to play a bit of this and I'm going to play our featured artist for today, who is Ashley. I'll be able to control this and, and play it like a bass, you know? So I want just bah. He's and importing no, no a pitch sound change. here. And I could try maybe recreating this from scratch or try auto tuning this to a specific pitch. But what if I could just get the recipe? What if I could drop this fully cooked? finished dish into a magic box and have it hand me the full recipe. So I've trimmed this down just to that first bit. And now I'm going to press this button and watch what happens. It's working. It's iterating and evolving these different options that it hopes sound like that sample. Whoa. And we can audition them. I like this one. You can import your voice, you can import sounds, traffic, anything you like, and it so will good. generate so the, 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 the instructions. I have in here. Let's just find like a nice bass hit or something. Here we go, just this nice donk. And see what happens. It's got it. Those are that. using all the same tools, all the same sliders that were used to make that sound we heard just before. And now we have I don't think so. I th I think they'll be able to I, Okay, I, so I, why is this any more I've, I've already had some messages between them, so I think it's possible. I don't. Th I think if they could do it, if they could put it on uh, iOS, I think it would only be available for M2 and M1 iPads. So yeah, uh, you you'd need a new iPad to do it. But hey, you know, this is the thing. People are like, man, uh, we want desktop apps. <laughs> you have to pay for them because this thing's not cheap either. Like, but it's not expensive. So, but very, very fascinating. Uh, you know what I'm, uh, me, I'm really into things that are uh, going to change the way we make music. And that sounds like it takes out a lot of hassle of creating samples. So $149 for Mac and PC. Uh, so it's already as an audio unit, but not an AUV3, it's an AUV2. So, um, but yes, very interesting stuff. So I'm... Uh, uh, I think we'll do a show on it at some stage. There's also another thing we're going to be looking at very soon, which is a, a voice removal tool, which is absolutely free, not for iPad, but something which I think I want to talk about because it's really handy. You don't need a super processor. You don't need a, a degree in science to work it, but uh, it's not 
It's not your standard app. It's not like, you know, it's open source. But we'll we'll probably do it. Maybe we'll probably look at that on this show, maybe in a couple of weeks' time. Anyway, that's Simplant. So let's get out of here. I think we've covered uh, some things that I missed during the week. Remember, normally all the stuff I've talked about here, updates to apps, I've done shows on most of them. Hopefully you got an understanding about sending out emails to developers to get things fixed because it, it will work. It'll make your life easier. And you'll feel like, you know what, you will feel like you're in more control of your music creation and, the, and when you buy stuff that you can contact the developers and get things done. So do it. But today's featured artist, because I'm getting out of here today, is Ashley HM. I've known Ashley for a long time. She um, came to one of my gigs and and f- took photos of me and shared the photos of me. She's a photographer. She's a musician. And she's a really kind, sweet person too. And this is the first time I'm actually featuring on here on here. And she's one of my sisters as well, if you know what I mean, yeah? So I should have played her stuff much sooner than now. So let's go ahead and play her brand new track, which was for Song Timber. Let me do that, cue it up. And uh, later tonight, I think I'm doing a a remake of my show where I'm working on my video clip again. So that's in about uh, 13 hours time. If you want to come and hang out, it's early in the morning in the US, blah, blah, blah. All right. This is a Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 2009 Terra Billy by Ashley HM. Get ready to bang your head. Let's do it. Do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we'll all rise together. I'll see you again uh, on the weekend because I'm doing a Grease show tomorrow. Singing all the songs from Grease too. So come and hang out. Watch me make an absolute tit of myself for your pleasure. Let's do it. together